Hi, I'm Kevin Kelly, Senior Maverick at Wired, and I'd like to introduce a Reinventors Roundtable that's going to be dedicated to looking at the issue of artificial intelligence. How is artificial intelligence reinventing what we are as humans? How it is reinventing our employment and our role in society? And in thinking about what AI means, um, I keep coming across lots of paradoxes, perplexities, conundrums, and I'm hoping to have some other experts in AI join me and see if we can come up with some insights about how AI is actually going to roll out in our lives. Not the stuff that's happening in the labs, but the ways in which we are first going to encounter it. As we have in some sense with things like Siri, what is next after that? As things get smarter, what are going to be the path to commercialization? How are people going to make money and keep doing this? Um, and how are we going to actually interact with them? I think um, we have a lot of expectations about AI that are going to be proven wrong, and I'm hoping that maybe we can collectively think together and come up with some better answers than we have so far. The greatest challenge of AI actually turns out to be the fact that we don't know what it is. Um, we don't really have a very good working de definition of our own intelligence, our own consciousness, our own smartness. And so when we try to make these things artificially, um, we run into a lot of problems of language and um, preconceptions. And I'm hoping that um, as we talk together about this, that we can kind of um, find a way through some of these issues. So when we think about reinventing things, uh, one of the chief things that we can reinvent is our economy, and that which is all being driven by technology. And one of the chief enablers of technology that's coming very soon is AI, is artificial intelligence, smartness. Because as we make things smarter, um, we are increasing, accelerating the power of, of almost everything. And then particularly in employment, because um, automation is seeping into not just mechanical, physical things, but also knowledge work. And if we can automate knowledge work, that has a huge impact on our economy. So AI is a enabling technology. It's, it's a first order technology that will enable robotics, it will enable automation, it will enable um, big data, the web, all these things can really be transformed by more powerful smartness. And so this is a first order technology that's going to disrupt um, almost everything that we touch. Um, if you can imagine everything that we touch being 100 or a million times smarter than it is, that will change things. And so if we can get a handle on this most powerful enabling technology, I think that really will play out and help us understand the larger economic shift that's happening right now. After 50 years of um, promise for AI, in the last two or three years, there's been a tipping point where we have seen some real advances. And the most common example would be uh, using the Siri or Google Voice on your phone, where it can understand what you're saying. Something that people said would never happen. Um, there is lots of evidence that that's just the beginning of a series of changes that are going to happen really fast in the next couple of years. And I think that there's a good chance that this time around, AI and things that we call smartness will really begin to show consumer progress, things that we can actually use rather than stuff in the lab. And for that reason, I think is, this is a good time to start talking and thinking about this. Uh, th one of the things I want to explore is, is um, the ways in which we can have different kinds of smartness. And maybe what we really want is artificial smartness rather than artificial intelligence. Um, but maybe I'm wrong. And so um, that's the kind of issue that I want to explore.